Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over the uh, split and transpose uh, columns uh, tasks. <clears throat> the uh, split columns task allows us to uh, basically change our rows or observations to columns or variables. And the transpose task uh, does pretty much the opposite. It allows us to change the columns to rows. So you can find these tasks uh, up, up again in the, uh, the task uh, drop-down bar. Then you go to data, and here you go. Uh, here you have all of our... Uh, our uh, data uh, manipulation tasks. So you see we have split columns right here, transpose. <clears throat> you can also find them down here in the uh, task list by clicking it and you see all of our all of our options down here. So for this exercise I'm going to use uh, a data set that contains phone data. So I'm going to build this uh, spreadsheet. Excel spreadsheet has three uh, spreadsheets so I'm going to use phones. <clears throat> Actually, before I do that, a lot of times it's easier to change the the name of the file you're working with so it's easier to to find. So I'll change it to phones. Okay. Okay, so here's our data set. Uh, you can see it's listed by uh, employee ID. And then we have phone type, uh, home, work, or uh, cell phone. And then the uh, phone number. <clears throat> so first thing we want to do is... Uh, split the columns. So we want to do so in a way that uh, each phone type has its own column and there's only one row for each employee ID. So first thing we do is go to the tasks menu, go to data, then we go to split columns. Okay, so <clears throat> first off we want to group everything by employee ID. So we can just drag it over to group analysis by and then we want to split the phone numbers. So this is going to be our column to split. And then phone type will fall into our value identifier column. Okay. And I'm going to save these, save this as, oops, wrong one. as phone split. Okay, so click run. <clears throat> and so now you see that we've taken the uh, phone type and given each type its own column. And it's all grouped by employee ID. And that's using the uh, split columns task. Now, let's kind of work backwards and use the transpose, transpose task to take our, our, um, our uh, col columns to rows. So basically, we'll just go backwards. <clears throat> so using the same data set, We'll go to tasks and go to data. And this time we'll use the transpose <coughs> uh, function. Okay, so once again, we're going to group by uh, employee ID. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. And so now we're going to put uh, all three of these columns into. Uh, a row so we take all three of these and these are going to be the variables that we want to transpose okay so let's go ahead and run it okay so now we're pretty much back to back to normal so now we see that <clears throat> this middle column right here labeled source is the phone data type where before we had three columns a column for each data type now we just have one column of data type um, but obviously you can see that you know, source and column one are not really appropriate uh, column labels. I mean, we may know what it is, but another person opening up the file may be completely confused by it. So let's go ahead and change that. So we can go to the modify task option and it brings us back up to our, <clears throat> our transpose menu. So for this, we go to options and source, which is the name of our, our uh, phone type. We'll just change it right here. Phone type. And then down here, the column name prefix, this is going to be the name of our last column, which is our phone numbers. So we'll just change it to phone numbers. Okay. And this, we want to replace the previous run. Okay, so this makes more sense. Now we have phone type and phone numbers. And this is how you use the split columns and transpose tasks.